all my... I don't know. I love Kevin. But I love you. And I love every single thing about you. Then let me make you happy. Let me make both of us happy tonight. It's not a dream. No. You're supposed to be in the hospital. It's okay. I can explain all that. How, lo how long have you been here? A couple days. <gasps> oh my God. Christine was right. She said you went into a room and you kissed her goodnight. Why? What are you, what are you thinking here? What that are you I doing? That I have the most beautiful family that any man could ever want. you too. What? What? Well, what do you expect? One look at you and how can I resist? Hey, could you please page Dr. Ramsey? He's not in his office. Do you have an appointment? Yeah, I'm his brother. Let's just go home, Jack. I don't, I don't like the hospital. Hey, I know, I know. Nobody likes the hospital and even the people who work here. But, hey, everything's gonna be okay. I know you kind of said about the last time you were here, but... I don't want any more tests. I know. But you know what? Chris is going to do it this time. Ian's not going to do it. But isn't Ian our friend? Ian's not here right now, so Chris, my brother, is just going to do the test. Step okay? Dr. Avril Perry, 4467. So how long do you think this is going to stay a secret as long as Ian is all over your case about it? I'm going to make sure it stays a secret. I'm like, let them destroy the purest soul I know. <sighs> Gotta get Ian off this. Look who I found. Ian can do the new tests after all. Joshua, we're working on the new song. Where's Marissa? Hard to track down is not an excuse. She's on the payroll. Get, get, get her here tonight. We need to work. Boss, get that message from your girlfriend? What? Your girlfriend, she called. Elizabeth? Okay. You have a message about Tess? Yeah. I know you're not happy about this, but it's the only way we can find out. Find out who or what she is, right? Yeah. No one has to know about us. Come on, Tess. I'll be with you the whole time. 
I'll be back. You promise? Hey, Jack. Got your page. What's up? Hey, hey, can I trust you? I have to do a test. I need to protect her. And I might need you to break the rules. I suppose you're still wondering why I'm not at the hospital. I'm wondering a lot of things. I'm wondering a lot of things, Doc. I mean, Kevin. No, Lucy, it's all right. You can call me Doc. You, you, you told me you didn't like that before. I know, I know, but I said and did a lot of things before. They're all pretty horrifying, but I, I've changed, Lucy, and, and I even have the release papers to prove it. You, you, you have really release papers? Well, don't think I forgot what you told me. Don't show up on the doorstep unless you're serious about your recovery. So I've been working very hard with Dr. Fox. And he feels that I've made a lot of progress, so much so that he actually wants me to continue my treatment as an outpatient. I see, so Dr. Fox said that. He told you that. I am really so much better. Well, then what are you doing here like this? What were you doing? Were you spying on me, sneaking around? Is that you were spying on me? No. But why didn't you call? Why didn't you just pick up the phone and warn me you were coming? And I let tried me know? more than once, Lucy, but I couldn't just leave a message. By the time I got here, it was late. Everyone was asleep. So you, you just watched us? I looked in on my family. And seeing everyone safe in their beds gave me a peace that I haven't felt in a long time. So I kissed Christina goodnight, and I went up to the studio, and I guess I just fell asleep. By the time I woke up the next day, you already had a, a house full of guests and tofu turkey on the table, and everything was just so wonderfully you. I didn't think it would be healthy for anybody if I crashed the party. Oh, I see. So th this way is so much better? It's getting to be my life story. You're afraid of me. No, I'm, I'm, I'm not af afraid of you. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have come back, Lucy. I, I, no, I, that has been a long time. I didn't say that, Doc. I didn't, I didn't say that. Look, Lucy, if you want me to go, just say the word. I'm not going to do anything that makes you feel uncomfortable. But I do have to ask you one question. Do you still love me? God, it's so deep. You should probably get it cleaned up. No, no, it's it's fine. <sighs> no, I insist. Stephen. Hey, I'm late. Elizabeth's waiting for me. I really need to talk to you. About my mother. Spell microphone. M. Hey. You read your brother seems to think I need help in the lab. There's no need to get territorial here. Hey, I got asked him for his help. Did you? Yes, I just thought we didn't need to have any mistakes. It's not, don't take it personally. It's not about you, all right? No, it's not. Excuse us, you with me in here. Dude, please watch her. What are you doing? What do you mean? You and Chris to mess with the test results to prove what? That a woman who has no recognizable DNA is human after all. Is that it? All right. Well, you can fool me, you can fool the rest of the world, but you know what? The problem is when you wake up in the morning, you're going to know the truth. I, I love you. I always have, and I always will. Th that's never been, never been in doubt. Then we'll be fine. Then we'll get through this. 
You sound so sure. In, you, you sound like yourself. That's what I'm trying to tell you, Lucy. I'm not trying to fool myself or you or anybody. I know I can't just make the last few months disappear. What happened, happened. And I have a lot of difficult, painful work ahead of me. But if we love each other, I know that we'll come out of this stronger than we've ever been. I don't think you have any idea how many times I've dreamed that I would be doing this, standing in this room, looking at the man that I love, the man that I married, and he is home, finally home. You are my rock, Lucy. If you'd given up on me. No, it would never happen. If I did give up on you, it would be like giving up on myself. me and, and tells me that she is my father's former lover and she is the, the mother of his child and she wants to meet me and she's in town so so great so I, I come and I meet her and I talk with her and then bust my mother calling her a liar and making all these accusations saying that this is a complete scam she set the entire thing up and I'm so, she's so sorry and she didn't mean to and she's changed her mind now and she's she's telling me all of this inside why would your mother do something like that because as, as disgusting as this may sound, I made a deal with her a while ago. I mean, I made it in writing that said if she were to help me find my brother or sister, I would give her my share of the inheritance. I see. But I really feel like at the crash site, I mean, you were there. I, I felt like we were starting to make a, a breakthrough, that we were actually starting to build a real relationship with each other, a real mother-daughter relationship, something that I've never even had with her, ever. Yeah, I think you were, too. I think you still can, if that's what you want. I'm not excusing what Elizabeth did. She was wrong. But when it came right down to it, she told the truth. She did the right thing. Yeah, I wish I could believe that as easily as you can. Can't choose our family, Alice. And I know there's a little part of you inside that wants to believe that she has changed. I think she has if you give her another chance. And you know what they say? Blood is thicker than water. You know, I'm the one that's cut. Why are you so shook up? I'm not. I'm fine. Really? Because you went a few minutes ago. I'm all right. I'm better now. I'm not so sure about Elizabeth. That. Oh, where have you been? I've kind of been waiting and waiting for you. I'm sorry, I got held up. You know, you. Oh, so you, you look a little under you. the weather. Why don't we take a little walk? Whoa, what happened here? Oh, it's, you know, scratch. Drink. Well, Stephen, I need to see a doctor. There's something wrong with me. I'm flying a specialist tomorrow for now. Just drink up. <sighs> With what is in this? It's all organic. Vitamins, electrolytes. It's, it's giving the band a whole new lease on life, better than drugs. It is amazing. That one's yours to keep, all right? Anytime you feel tired, you feel sick, just take a drink. It'll make you feel better. Allison's pretty upset. She told me the story about the con artist she hooked her up with. No, I, I, uh, it's just a mess. I tried to stop it. I. I know. Couldn't. You're sorry. It's just a shame. All that progress you're making just flushed away. You, uh, you're not gonna let that happen, are you? No. Oh, no. No, not at all. Oh, God, I'm so glad you're here. Everything's so much better when you're around. <laughs> a little damage control first. You're gonna do something for me. 
gonna like it. But you're gonna do it anyway. How could... Get out of my face. No. Why do you want to hide who Tess really is? I wouldn't have to if you just let it go. Ian, I'm trying to protect her. I'm in love with her, and I don't want anybody turning her into some guinea pig. Shh, and you think that's what I would do to her? I just want a life with her, that's all. So I want you to walk away and forget about what you know about her. And you think that's what's best for Tess? I love her. <laughs> she loves me. How bad can that be? Well, I'm not going to stand in your way. No one's going to find out about Tess from me. All right? Thanks. One thing, though. Yeah. You wouldn't trust me with a woman you love. But you would trust Chris. Ian's upset. Yeah, well, Ian's always upset. It's his nature. This is stethoscope, OK? Here, you can listen to your heart. Try it. Dr. Ramsey, call 9-3. Tess, you just wait here, OK? Be right back. time of our life. I mean, in a couple of weeks, I'm gonna be marrying the man that I adore. And I still have so much stuff to do. I need to go out and find a wedding dress, and I want my mother to be a part of that. Every girl wants that. But I don't want any of this extra baggage that she has. Allison, there's something I want to say to you, something I want to do. This is the deal that we made, saying that you would give me your share of the inheritance if I help you find your sibling. How can I forget? <laughs> well, now you can. Why are you doing that? Because it's a bad idea. Its mere existence was bound to cause trouble between us. Stephen, help me see that. Do you really mean that? <sighs> Honey, I don't want anything standing between what you and I can be. I will still help you find your sibling because it's the right thing to do. And baby, because I love you. Your happiness means everything to me. And what about the money? I'll manage. I... It's not important. Is it, Stephen? Absolutely not. Thank you. No, no, no. It's okay. You are my husband. And I have to earn back the trust that goes along with that. In the meantime, you're tired, and I'm going up to the studio to sleep. Kevin. This really is all I ever wa wanted, you know? I know. Me too. Dr. Fox, Kevin Collins. I'm doing well, thank you. As a matter of fact, I'm doing very well. Well, I did everything that you suggested I do. Made all the moves you told me to make. I do believe that she thinks I'm still her dear old doc, the man she thinks she married. Well, I don't think she needs to know yet that I'm such a vast improvement over that simpering fool. Fast improvement. 
Stay tuned for scenes from the next Port Charles. Naked eyes. On the next Port Charles. You have to live and breathe the music, Marissa. You know that. If you can't do that, you're out of the band. I thought you already were. I'm willing to do whatever it takes to get my wife back. You're not really buying any of this, are you? Did you miss any of Port Charles this week? Be there for the SoapNet Marathon of all this week's Port Charles episodes, Saturday at 4 p.m. Log on to SoapNet.com for your complete schedule. SoapNet, soap watching made easy. Coming up next, watch yesterday's episodes of All My Children and One Life to Live. Then stick around for General Hospital, right here on SoapNet.